Carolina de Roberta's novel, Cantoras, is a beautifully written, poignant exploration of identity, love, and resilience set in Uruguay during the military dictatorship of the 1970s and 1980s. The novel follows the lives of five women who become friends and form a makeshift family, bound together by their love of music and their determination to survive in a society that seeks to silence and oppress them. One of the most striking aspects of Cantoras is the way in which de Robertis uses language to convey the emotional depth and complexity of her characters. The novel is told from multiple perspectives, with each chapter focusing on a different character and their experiences. Through this technique, de Robertis is able to offer a nuanced portrayal of each woman's inner world, their hopes and fears, their triumphs and struggles. The character who emerges as the heart of the novel is Romina, a young woman who is grappling with her sexuality and her desire for a life beyond the narrow confines of societal expectations. Romina is drawn to the other women in the novel, particularly Flaca and Lavinus, who share her sense of restlessness and yearning for something more. Together, they form a close-knit group that they call Los Cantoras, or The Singers, and use their music as a way to express their emotions and connect with one another. De Robertis is particularly skilled at depicting the complexities of Romina's desires and the conflicts that arise as a result. On the one hand, Romina is deeply in love with Flaca, and their relationship is tender and passionate. On the other hand, Romina is aware of the dangers of being openly gay in a society that views homosexuality as a threat to the traditional family structure. Throughout the novel, Romina struggles to reconcile these conflicting impulses, torn between her desire for intimacy and her fear of being ostracized or worse. Another key theme in Cantoras is the power of friendship and community in the face of oppression. The women in the novel come from different backgrounds and have different personalities and experiences, but they are united by their shared sense of marginalization and their refusal to be silenced. As they navigate the challenges of living under a repressive regime, they find solace and strength in each other, forming a bond that transcends societal expectations and traditional notions of family. De Robertis also explores the ways in which political violence and trauma affect individuals and communities. Several of the characters in the novel have been directly impacted by the dictatorship, either through their own experiences of imprisonment and torture or through the loss of loved ones. De Robertis does not shy away from depicting the horrors of this period in Uruguay's history, but she also shows how the women in the novel find ways to survive and even thrive in the face of this trauma. In terms of style, Cantoras is a beautifully written novel that is infused with poetic language and vivid imagery. De Robertis has a gift for evoking the sensory details of her characters' lives, from the salty sea air to the sound of music floating on the breeze. Her prose is lyrical and haunting, and she creates a sense of intimacy between the reader and her characters that is both tender and powerful. Overall, Cantoras is a remarkable novel that offers a deeply felt exploration of identity, community, and survival in the face of adversity. De Robertis is a gifted writer who has crafted a work of fiction that is both intellectually stimulating and emotionally resonant. The novel's themes and characters will stay with readers long after they have turned the final page, 
and its message of hope and resilience in the face of oppression is one that is both timely and timeless.